Good morning, artists. Today we're going to be doing a drawing of a photobombing llama. To start with, you're gonna need a blank piece of paper and a tool to draw with. We wanna make sure our paper is turned in the landscape direction. That means that the long side is at the bottom, not the long side on the side, the long side on the bottom. So since our llama is photobombing, we want to make it look like it's not supposed to be part of the picture and it's just popping its head in. So to start, I want you to pick one side of your paper. I'm going to pick this side and we're going to draw our llama head on that side. So not in the middle, either on this side or this side. To begin drawing our llama, we're going to start with the ears. I'm going to draw two shapes like this with a bumpy line in the middle. These are the two long ears. Now remember, llamas are really fluffy. They have lots of fluffy wool covering their bodies. So to draw the sides, I'm going to draw more bumpy lines like this to show their fluff. Next, to make the llama's face, I'm going to draw a shape that's similar to the ears but upside down. I'm going to draw it kind of in the middle like this. And then I'm going to draw a little heart at the top like that. The heart is the llama's nose. So from the nose, I'm going to draw two curved lines for the mouth. Down and curve, down and curve. Then I'm going to draw one more curved line like that. Last thing I'm going to do is draw the llama's eyes. You're going to draw two circles and then a curved line on the inside curving down like a rainbow and I'm going to color those in. All right, now it's time to draw the details. So you can make your llama your own. The details I'm going to add are I'm going to draw the inside of the ears like this. So I'm drawing a shape similar to what I did for the outside show the inner part of the ear. Then I'm going to draw another bumpy line to show more fluffiness. And I'm also going to draw some eyelashes on my llama. You can add any other details you want. I'm going to add a little tongue there in my llama's mouth. You can draw a scarf or your llama wearing a hat. Use your imagination. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our background. Remember, llamas live in Peru, and Peru has lots of big hills and mountains that cover the land. So to show that, I'm gonna draw some mountain shapes like this. And the lines stop when they get to the llama because they're behind the llama. So they don't go over, they stop when they get to the lines I've already drawn. Next, I'm gonna draw a line on the bottom going to be a little bit wavy and this is going to show where the mountains stop and the ground begins. Okay, now you can use your imagination and decorate the background however you want. You can add more llamas, you can add trees or people, whatever you want to do. When you're done drawing, it's time to color. You can use whatever materials you have at home. You can even use paint if you have paint. You can use glitter, whatever you want to use to add color. 